On the table today at Squirrel Stampede, we have a safari with Transformers Legacy Evolution Maximal Leo Prime, a beautiful white lion transformer. I, Optimus Prime, once went on a grand safari to the African Preserve. Hey, that's my hat! One, two, three, won't you count with me? <laughs> I must go now. The Primes are all here, ready to welcome into the family. I think they're very excited. I, Optimus Prime, remember the time I went on safari with my friend Dinobot here. That's not Dinobot, you fool. You toiled with a raptor. Clever girl. I can't see anything out of this helmet. Also, maybe possibly a Dragon Megatron in the back. Not sure if we will get to, but we will soon eventually. So lots of Leo Prime here to see today. I hear there's many a stages of transformation, so let's get right to this beautiful Transformers Legacy Evolution Prime. Watch, Primes, as I safari jump off this elephant. Squirrel <laughs> Stampede! <laughs> Maximal Leo Prime Transformers Legacy Evolution on the table. A beautiful white lion, golden manes, and simplified 35 steps of transformation. What? 35 steps? Are you kidding me? You would think with something called Evo Fusion, it would only take like maybe 12 steps, but we've got 35 steps to go. Very clean yet animated box. Leo Prime stands out well, ready for battle. Open window design on the front so you can kind of peer in and see what he's looking like. Hasbro doing pretty well now with plastic free packaging. Shall we find our way Prime out of pack? It's always tricky to decide where from with all these angles. Do we go easy on the flat bottom or maybe angle up through the top? I think we got to go to the bottom. As if we go through the top, it's going to be fitting a square through a circle. And Leo Prime out of pack so far up front, looking like a very well-balanced figure. Tell you what, Leo, how about you stand up onto the turntable so we can get a good 360 view of you. Affirmative. Okay, so let's get Leo up center here. So there, Leo Prime on top of the rotator, giving it a little bit of trouble. I think I need to upgrade my turntable. But from all around, it looking like a pretty balanced figure. Maybe a little bit of activity going behind those elbows and his back piece. Not sure if it is correctly there yet. But I like the color scheme. He's so bright, vivid white. And while Leo Prime spins around back there, Generation 1 Prime will try to influence you in trading with him. A Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Illustration Card Art Rare Curlia card with hopefully a rare Illustration Rare Pachirisu card. Prime has always enjoyed resting in vehicle mode at local parks and letting the Pachirisus play over his front hood and would very much like to see a Pachirisu card. Get in contact with Prime for a trade of a Curlia card and a Pachirisu, please. Now back to Leo Prime spinning. Ghost like, a ghost Leo like, and then golden manes, a golden hair of lion flowing, looking quite triumphant. So a really fun standing Prime will go very well on the shelf of Primes. Okay, Leo Prime, you can step down from the rotator so we could take a closer look at you. Yeah, early on I'm quite impressed with what we have. Right now scaling pretty close to Transformers Kingdom Optimus Primal, standing at about six inches. So what do we have for articulation? There's always a lot of articulation in these Transformers lately. We will start with some head rotation as always, maybe a full 360, look at that. Full 360, his head won't rotate off. Then we have shoulders, well, what do we have? They're underneath his shoulder pads of a lion mane. And what an impressive shoulder pad a lion head and mane would be. And then over here onto this side, I call it the seagull shoulder pad. Doesn't this look like a seagull? Ow, ow. Stop pecking! Stop pecking at me! Anyway, if you can get under there, there is some rotation. These panels do lift up a little bit, so there is some pretty good control under these uh, shoulders. Maybe less so on the Leo side. Then for elbows, well, we've got bendable elbows and rotating wrists. And I even think there's a, there's a pivot point here at the arm too, so there's lots of movement up there. Uh, up in his chest, there is a panel you can open up behind the maximal symbol that probably reveals the matrix rod of uh, Leo ship. And maybe some more in there, I'm not sure yet. Rotation at the waist, always important. 
and we should have hips on, well, plenty of rotation. They reach out, hinge out, and rotate. Then knees, we've got double jointed knees, which are probably going to be needed in transformation to cat. So they're pretty tight and good looking. Oh, there's even a pivot point in the central thighs. And then down here at the shin, there may even be another point of rotation and uh, some of the ankles. That actually looks painful. And even some more pivot points. So plenty, plenty of movements for plenty of positioning. Maybe the only problem is there's some hinging difficulty with his lion legs, sometimes behind his arms that like to swing out when you're not looking. All of a sudden he's got a lion arm swinging out. So it's, it's kind of clumsy there, but pretty impressive. He just looks really good. Almost like a target transformer though with that little circle there. I keep thinking target. Oh, weapons. We've got a couple different things. We've got a couple small handguns. Nothing beats the double pistols. Always fun to play with. And there's a couple more here. I think they install either... You can flip up these main pieces. I think that's where the pistols go. And these extra golden rods will fit over onto the side of the mains here. One on each side, it looks like. They're a little clumsy to install, so we'll just call it good there. And I think we can store and hide those back under the main, so that's pretty nice. I always like it when Prime has hidden, detachable weapons. Very impressive. So included with our Leo Prime, we have a full instruction booklet to help us out with those 35,000 stages of instruction of transformation. There might as well be an appendix table of contents encyclopedia subscription to this thing. It's so maddening but we're gonna try to figure it out. All right, every prime, let's stand back and see if we can begin this madness. We start from behind, so Leo, rotate around. Lots of kibbles and bits back there. All right, stage one, we're going to lift out the Leo shoulder. Stage two, we're gonna lift up the back piece. Stage three, we're going to fold down those back elbow arms. Stage four, I think we're gonna do some rotation of the shoulders. And stage five is wild. We're gonna rotate Leo's head up and seagull head down. That feels pretty unique. Stage six, we can rotate him back around. We're gonna straighten up those elbows. Stage seven, we'll flip out his target logo chest pieces. Those were a little tight. Stage level eight, rotate head down. And at stage level nine, what in the world? We're gonna rotate the head and chest down? Or we're gonna break off his head. What? There we go, I loosened it just a little bit. This might be the point of transformation of no return. 10, we're gonna rotate that front chest panel around, and then 11 back into place. 12, we'll dance back around, and we're going to continue to get these kind of leg pieces straight, I guess. Kinda looks like Beast from Beauty right now. Oh, I see, it's kinda hidden, but in step 12, we want to flip up his robot hands into his arms. And then back around, I say, for step 13. Lots of rotation here. And in step 13, we're also flipping out those Target-inspired logo chest panels forward. And level 14, we rotate arms around. And I believe level 16, we swing them on up. And level 17, we rotate those arms out, almost like we're performing jungle version YMCA. At this point in the transformation, book a ticket to somewhere nice. You just got through a ton of transformation and really need to take a break. Settle the nerves, put your feet up, relax, and then return home for more transformation. Now for step stage level 13, if your Leo Prime does not look like this, then I would suggest retaking your trip, going across country, enjoying the warm waters, and returning once again to get your Leo Prime just like this. So in level stage 18, we're going to swing these arms back on up. And these arms should be pegging up inward somewhere into Leo's mane. It's fun to stay at the Y-M-C-A. It's fun to stay at the Y-M-C-A. Da 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 da. <clears throat> I think, I hope, stage level 18 is supposed to look like this. You really do lever up these arms and pin them under the neck in there. Everything should smooth on out. That feels good. I feel like we're on the right track. And for level 19, we know we've done things correct if those front chest panels will please just hinge together forward. Which they have. 
Level 20, we're going to rotate. Level 20, we are going to send out the lionesses to get dinner. And while they're working hard on that, we're going to flip up these main pieces, these lower sideburn main pieces. They're right tucked in by these hands. So here we go, we flip these up on each side, kind of rotating these arms out to get to them. I hope the lionesses return with the zebra. I love zebra, so delicious. Level 21, we're rotating those front arm shoulders out and around. And level 22, we can finally start going down on all fours. It's done! Not even close though. We still have 13 more stages. Stage 22, we'll rotate those front shoulders on in. Oh my gosh! His legs are on backwards! Gotta fix that somewhere. So for stages 23 and 24, you can do some elbow finishing and then rotate those paws around front. Now we gotta work on the back, so rotating back around to the back side. There's a lot to do, but I don't think it will be too difficult. We start 25 rotation around the thighs. 26, we're going to fold up those red knees up into the thighs. Twenty-seven, we'll rotate those shins around. Stage twenty-eight, flip in those heel stabilizers. And stage twenty-nine, rotate those hips and stabilize. We are now more comfortably on all fours. Level stage 30, make sure this back piece is clicked in correctly. At this stage, you should have loose panel control over this back panel here a little bit, the seagull panel, and then this back panel. This is the back panel we wanted to get to. It kind of got wedged under this panel, so I kind of had to relieve pressure there. And then I think we can now get this top panel over overlapping this back panel there, uh, sort of. And oh, I see maybe some contact points in there too as we squeeze, oh, that's getting nice and tight. He's purring, he likes that. But not to forget and go too far in level 31, we do need to get his tail out somehow. We gotta flip this up and rotate our seagull tail out. There we go, now you can start placing things down. So I kind of feel they got ahead of themselves on stage 30, but I think they were just trying to warn you not to get that front back panel stuck underneath everything. Overall, those stages to get the back panel was pretty nice and secure. Okay, Leo Prime is really glowing white now. I had to lower the contrast just so we could see on the table. Rotating around to front, our back panels in 35 should all be snapped down. So luckily most of the stages, 30 through 35, kind of all bleed into one another, shortening the pain. I think all that's left is to fold back those main sideburns. I don't remember when we were supposed to do that, maybe with the shoulders. Those click in nicely, click in your main, and do some slight adjustments. You should be all ready to go now. So even though I joked about the many stages of transformation, this turned out absolutely incredible. It is one of my most favorite primes now. It is so unique and different. It takes a little while to learn, especially up in these shoulders and head. It'll be interesting to see if I can get this back and forth. I think it'll be a great fidget toy in front of the TV. And check this out, you can even open and close the lion's mouth. Pretty high detail too. You have that Beast Wars fur texture going out through the plastic. Most of the panelage is pretty seamless. There's only a few spots, maybe upper shoulders, where you see some things. A little red hinge there. And those back legs kind of stand out. But I don't mind a little mechanicalness to the Beast Wars. I think it helps. The golden mane is absolutely spectacular. And it turns out to be a pretty cool beast. As for beast articulation, as a lion, we have, what do we have? Well, shoulders are kind of pinned down pretty heavily. There is rotation here at this midpoint, and you can rotate these feet out a little bit, so there's some placement there. Plenty of movement in the legs, the hips still move a little bit, and there's a lot of movement in these thighs. And then down to the ankles. Plus you have a tail that can rotate a little bit, and again, that opening and closing mouth. So there's plenty there to give you some fun positioning. 
And of course, don't forget about those flip up main features. I think the cannons are still in there. They are. And we can then again place these back onto the sides. I think one fell off in transformation. And we've got him battle ready. That is one impressive prime. The question is though, can he haul a trailer? Uh -huh. By Unicron's beard, he can. Okay, so while Leo Prime is doing some deliveries, probably for Amazon, let's take a quick sneak peek look at Transformers Legacy Evolution Transmetal 2 Megatron. I was originally planning to running these two together, but I think I'm gonna go with a separate vid now as Leo Prime ran so long. And this one too features. 33 stages of transformation. I really want to feature that. Transmetal 2 Megatron was one of the few Beast Wars I never picked up. I wasn't exactly pleased with him being a dragon. I think my problem with it has always been color scheme. I don't mind the fact that he's a dragon. Dragons are awesome. Just felt like the red did not match. But maybe this new updated version. I see some purple in there. So we have an upcoming Transformers Legacy Evolution review. Megatron. We'll invite a few of my Megatrons out. I don't have as many as the Primes, but I think Megatron would like to run the show on that one. Also, let's take a quick squeak peek at the new Transformers Rise of the Beasts, Beast Alliance packs. We have an Optimus Primal teamed up with a Skull Cruncher. Funny, funny, because in early Beast Wars, I recall Megatron just briefly being an alligator. Packed with Prime, if I'm correct on that, let us know in the comments. So the Beast Alliance figures are a two-pack figure system. You take your Primal, you combine them with your Skull Cruncher, and you got an armored figure. There's also an RC with the Silver Fang. RC and Primal look to transform into their alternate modes, whereas Silver Fang and Skull Cruncher are just added armor. Oh, and there, of course, is Bumblebee with the Snarl Saber, and they're armored up on the back. So we'll get to these two as well. We're still looking for more Rise of the Beasts items. There will be a lot of Transformers featured this year. I'm excited as I am a big Transformers fan and even more Beast Wars fan. Ah, it appears that Leo Prime is back from his deliveries. If you could get us some more Pokemon cards and a Squovet Leo, that would be great. So let's get you back into prime size before we end things. And there we go. Back to Leo shoulder, Seagull shoulder, Leo Prime. I think mostly correct back there. There's a lot of issues with these arms, the way they kind of hang out towards the back. I guess you can have them swing forward also, and there are razor claws that kind of swing out from them for some extra weaponry. So that's kind of a nice little feature. You just kind of got to fold and tuck them into a place that just doesn't feel like they're in the way and you should be pretty good for go. So that's Evo Fusion, Transformers Legacy Optimus Prime. Pretty good figure overall. I enjoyed the day with him. And there shall Leo Prime be introduced to all his new roommates. The Primes are very exciting. What a great lion transformer today. If you liked today's video, please give us a squike, a squirrel live, a squamant, your favorite Prime or Rise of Beasts character a coming. Lots of Transformers this year. Thanks for watching. That's what I have to say about that. <laughs> it's fun to stay at the YMCA. Da 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 da. <clears throat>